Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Today we're going to change the stacking order of some elements by bringing them to the front when we hover on them. We built this little section the other day and when we put our mouse over it hovers and, and gets larger which is fine but you can see this one on the end is in front of this one before it and this one's in front of this one. Now it doesn't matter for this so much but if I add another element or if I add another one of these they're going to start overlapping as to where you can't see your writing anymore and so we're going to need to change what's called the Z index or Z index to pull it forward and it's not as straightforward as you think usually you think you just put it in the div here but it doesn't work if you actually put it in the module itself we actually have to apply it to the columns so let's get started I'll show you how that's done so let's enable the visual builder and what I'll do is I'll add a new module so we can demonstrate this go down to where I was right here and let's I'm going up to the column this is the column tab or the row tab I should say with the columns in it this is the section tab and the dark one is the module tab I'm going into the row tab here and I'm just going to change the number of rows with this little icons here I'm going to just add another one and I'm going to copy this module two little squares there drag it across and we'll just call this number four funnily enough okay and what I want to do is overlap those a little bit more so we can demonstrate this so I'm going to go back into our row tab here the cog I'm going to go to design sizing I'm going to use a custom gutter width and take the gutter width down so they actually overlap I'm going to take it all the way down there we go okay if I save that now and I show you and we hover over it the writing or the content within that is going to be illegible on the first few because it's going to be behind what we've got going on there. Let's go down there. You see that the content sort of disappearing behind the little block to the right of it. So we need to change that. Let's re-enable the visual builder. Now as I said before, you can't actually do this within the modules, which you kind of think you would be able to. You've actually got to do it on the columns within the row. Now by default, each of these columns has a Z or Z index of 9. So to pull one forward, we've got to give it a higher number of 9. So a Z index of 10 should do it. Let's go into our row. Just hit the little cog here. Go over to our custom CSS. And if I just bring this to the middle, what we want to do is actually go to the columns, so column one, main element, and I want to hit the little arrow. If you hover over the column one, the main element, you'll see a little arrow. Give us two boxes. It'll give us a default and a hover. I want to click on the hover, and we'll put a Z index of 10 in there. So it's just Z dash index colon 10. Now I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that in all of the columns main elements on hover. So remember to hit that arrow, you just want it on hover. Because you want it to be on the default state, you still want it to be the regular, which is a 9 main element hover there we go alright now let's save that save our changes and now let's see what happens exit the visual builder now let's go down to where we were and see what happens when we hover over now as you can see now when we hover over it's bringing the object that we hover on 
to the front and so you can read that content easily and it makes kind of sense to do that but like I say it's a little confusing because with most things you'd think you could do that within the actual module itself but like I say you have to do that within the columns Divi is absolutely awesome I've literally built hundreds of sites with it it keeps getting better and better with more and more features if you'd like to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link below this video so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we have got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day